Chris here with Barnyard Outdoors. Today I'm going to show you how to convert your Simple Theory Pack Stove XL to be a gas burner. Alright, so what I have here is a very basic Chinese made camp stove. This is actually the uh, Wadio 3700W camping gas stove. And you can pick these things up just about anywhere. The design is very similar. Um, I got this one off of Amazon. You can pick these up off of eBay and Alibaba, any place that sells these, uh, these camp stoves. Um, I picked this one because it was similar to the one that Mark Young had in his video. I'd have taken the stove out of the box. We wanted to simply disassemble this. These are all screw fittings. The only other thing I'm going to need is a screwdriver. So you remove the burner assembly. It just twists off. And I'm going to set this off to the side because I'm going to use that. Then there are a couple screws on here and these are uh, these combination Phillips flathead screws will remove these I don't need that need this either and then this model actually comes with a little PZO igniter I'm not going to need that but in order to get that removed I need to remove the mix chamber here I'm going to pull that off set that off to the side so what I'm left with here is the burner the mix chamber and then the uh, the fuel line the feed line And if you look at the Simple Theory Gear Pack Stove XL, there is a small hole right here in the center, and that is the perfect size for this. So in order to get this assembled, I need to first route the, the fuel line through. Now, this, this model, I cannot fit this end through because it's a little too wide, but I can take this end, run it through the stove, and then you take the feed line here and you push that up right through the center. It's, it's just a, it's a good fit right in there. And then I'm going to take the, uh, the mix chamber. I'm going to screw that down on there to secure it. And once that's attached, I can attach the burner. Screw that down and make sure you've got a snug fit. You don't want any fuel leaking out. And that's it. Now I have a burner in there. I've got my, my fuel feed line going off to the side. And uh, we can hook this up to a fuel canister. We can light it up and see how it looks. Okay, I've got a little uh, isobutane here. And this is a, just a jet boil one I had. Let's Go ahead and hook this up. Make sure everything's nice and tight. And there you have it. Simple Theory Gear Pack Stove XL with a gas burner. Now I can also run this off propane using this little adapter, which I can hook onto here and then hook onto a regular propane tank. So you can get several types of adapters, so you can use different fuel sources. As you can see, I've got pretty decent flame control on this. Um, I don't expect a lot from some of these uh, cheap Chinese-made stoves, but they do work, and they do work very well. So that's it. Real simple thing to do. Simple modification. Um, the nice thing, I'm going to let this cool down. I'm going to show you how easy it is to take this out and then how to store this inside your stove so you can always have it with you if you want to run uh, run this in a gas mode. 
So it's important when you're done using this, wait for it to cool down. Once it's cooled down, you can simply disassemble it. Remove the feed line. I'm going to go ahead and put this back on here just so it's all in one place. Once you've got this all disassembled, you can reattach the burner here so we don't lose it. Take the whole assembly, place it in the bottom, take your speed plate, and we can finagle this around to where it will fit. Lock that down. I've got my fuel canister in here. put everything back into the stove. So once I've got everything packed up, I can put this into my carry bag. And you can see I've got everything I need here to operate this stove on gas. Got my pot, two pot sets actually. And then I've got my burner assembly. Easy to attach, easy to use. This is a great alternative if you want to use a propane or an isobutane type fuel and convert this to a canister, canister stove. This is a this is a great little uh, little feature of this stove. I'm really glad that they put this little hole in the bottom. Great little modification to a great little stove. Thanks everybody for watching, and remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If you've done any modifications like this, or if you have any experiences you want to share about this pack stove, please let me know. Or if you have any questions on how I did this, please feel free to leave those comments below. Thanks everybody. Don't forget to subscribe. It really helps the channel out.